adding a secondary hard drive is a great way to, of course, increase the storage of your computer. It can also make it faster because some operations just work better whenever you're writing from one drive to another versus always writing to your system drive. So let's look at two different setups here and how we would install our new hard drive. First off, whenever you get your new hard drive, it will be in an anti-static pouch. Obviously, remove that pouch. There is your new hard drive. Now, for this computer, the way you'd put this one together is we have these rails that just attach right to the side of the hard drive. Just like that. And then we just slide it in. And it will snap. Then we connect our cables. Of course, how you connect your hard drive to the actual computer may vary. You may actually just screw it in versus having these actual bars on there, these arm bars. But if you have this style of computer where you have to actually plug in your SATA cable and a SATA power plug, if you look at the drive, you'll see there are two ports. We have our SATA port and then the SATA power port. This connects to your motherboard. This is going to connect to your power supply. So grab your SATA cable, of course, first plug one end into your motherboard into a free set of port, and then you'll plug the other end. Obviously, once the drive is actually mounted, plug the other end into your new hard drive. It will only go in one way, so don't worry. Uh, if it doesn't seem to go in one way, just flip it over, pop it in. It only goes in one way. After that, you'll grab a SATA power plug. You'll plug that into the hard drive. Now you're set and ready to go. You would then, of course, need to boot into your operating system and format that drive before you could use it. But what we're going to look at is this style of computer. And this is an HP Z820. And this system uses these trays that just fit into the system and they lock right in. Now these already have pre-installed SATA and SATA power ports. So we don't actually have to plug actual cables into it because all of that is already pre-installed. So all we have to do is slide the drive in. Now I already have the bare drive in the tray. It's just like our previous drive, same kind of ports. And as you already saw inside the uh, system there, all our ports are already pre-installed for us, already connected to the motherboard and the power supply. So all we have to do is slide this in and that's it. Now our new hard drive is installed and now we just need to boot up into Windows and format it so we can actually use it. And here we are in Windows and now we need to actually format our hard drive. We can go to control panel or we could actually go directly to where we need to go, but let me do it this way. We'll head to the start menu and assuming you don't have control panel pinned somewhere, we'll just type in control. We'll open up control panel. From there, you may need to change this to large icons. Then we want to go to administrative tools. From there, we go to computer management. Double click that. Here in computer management, we want to click disk management. Just click that once. This is going to connect to our disk space in it already picked up that new disk for us. If it doesn't, you can always come down and find it and click on it and right click, but it should find that for you. Okay, if it doesn't, we can click cancel there. If it doesn't come up, you can always come down here. You can see this is unallocated, uh, disk one unknown. We can't actually use this drive. If you look in this PC, it doesn't show up uh, because it hasn't been formatted. We have to format it, give it a uh, letter and whatnot so we can actually see it. So from that pop-up that automatically comes up, which it should, but just in case it doesn't, uh, we can always get back to it. Just come over here to whatever disk it is. And make sure you choose the right one. You know, we don't want to do our OS drive. This is our secondary drive here. So just make sure it's the right one. Right click over here in this area and choose initialize disk. That gives us that same exact uh, uh, options here, the same exact pop up here. So we have to initialize this disk before we can actually access it. It's already checked because we just installed one new disk. Now we have an option to do MBR, master a boot record, which is an older uh, uh, protocol, or older technology, or GPT. I would definitely suggest you do GPT. If you're using an older computer, uh, then you may want to do MBR, but for any modern computer, more than, more than likely, you're going to want GPT, okay? So that is selected. We'll go ahead and click OK. And there we go. Now it's initialized, but we still have this unallocated space. So now we'll just select that drive, right click here, we'll go to new simple volume. And now 
we're going to actually format it. So we'll just go through here, next, and we can specify the volume and size, assuming that you want the entire disk and you don't want partitions and whatnot. We're just gonna do the entire disk and this will automatically be set correctly. So you don't need to change anything in here. Go ahead and click next. Now we can assign a letter right now. We don't have to assign a letter now. You can, you can always do it later. You can just use that drop down and choose any letter that you want. In this case, I'm just going to choose F. You can leave it on whatever you want. So we don't need to uh, mess with any of these options right here. Go to next. Now do not format this volume or format. We want to format this volume. We format this volume with the following settings. We want NTFS because we're on Windows and it's an internal hard drive. Allocation unit size default is fine. If you know more about this, then you can mess around with this, but default is usually what you want. Volume label, this is the name. Again, we can always change this any time that we want. I'll just give it a name here. Again, I'm going to, I'll probably change this later, but we'll say new hard drive. Then we can perform a quick format if we want, or we can untick that and do a, what's called a full format, which is going to take much, much longer. In general, a quick format will be fine. I'm actually going to untick this. I would probably suggest that you just leave that checked, but I'm going to untick it because I want it to go through the entire hard drive and check all the sectors and whatnot. You can always learn more about that in, you know, in different videos. Now enable file and folder compression, I would suggest you leave that off, all right? So again, I would recommend you leave that on quick format for most people, uh, but to do a full format, untick that. Either one will be fine. Go ahead and click next. And this is what's going to happen. Go ahead and click finish. And now it's going to format that drive. This is a two terabyte drive. So we need to go ahead and let this just format. It's gonna take a while because it has to do the uh, entire drive. And we are done. That full format took about two hours or so. It would be much faster with a quick format. So right here is our hard drive. You can see it's listed now. New hard drive, that's the name that we gave it. We uh, put the letter F there on it. We can close this down now. Close all of this. And if we went to, uh, say, My PC, right here it is. Brand new two terabyte hard drive. Again, you can always rename it. You can always right click and rename. So I can rename this, um, call it recording hit enter there, and that's okay. And there it is, recording. So you can easily change that name. You can also change the uh, letter attached to that, but that would be for a different video that is actually already on this channel. But there we go, man. Set up and ready to use. We can, of course, start copying files to it. Uh, put anything that you want on it. it. has good speed there. Look at that. Boom. So that is how you install and format a new hard drive.